Hi, welcome back to my Blender to Unity Tower Defense game tutorial. In this part, we'll be modeling the stand, uh, which is the middle part of these two: the gun, uh, the machine gun, and the missile launcher gun. I've noticed that for the for the laser gun, I've gone for a slightly different stand approach. I'll see how we go and see how we're feeling for the, for that piece when we actually come to model that out. But for now, let's just work on the the basic stand for the machine gun and the missile launcher. So I've spin over to uh, Blender, excuse me, there she is. You'll recall that from the first part we created the base. So just to create the stand, let's get some um, a guideline of how big we want this to be. What I thought I might do is I just add a cube here, add a mesh of a cube, okay? And I'm gonna make this cube one by one. Uh, yeah, one by one by 1.5. Okay, if I just Z and then grab on the Z. Uh, was it 0.75 it looks like? That give me an indication of the size I want the total uh, uh, turret to be. So I would imagine that <coughs> I would want the stand to come to about where that white line there is. I don't know if you can see that just above the uh, uh, the pivot point, which is interesting given that this is the, oh, this is the new cube. Excuse me. <coughs> I thought for a second that was the pivot point for the uh, for the base, and it's not. So let's just we'll, in fact let's just rename this. We'll call this guide cube or something guide queue. I doubt we'll use it much but we'll just keep it there okay and for now we'll we will just keep it open let's pop in back into here and press Z to go into edit mode tab to go into edit mode A uh, sorry A and then we'll just we'll grab this circle here sorry guys Z let's just hide the cube let's just hide it a second by clicking on the I or pressing H press back into here Z let's just can't see what I'm selecting. And if this happens, what you can do is you can go to the, down here uh, and bring up the properties window, just unselect sharp, and then you can see what's been selected. So we can just select those ones there. Just make sure that whole select is selected there. And then what we'll do is we'll just press Shift D, which that's which create which copies that circle, and we'll right click to cancel P to select uh, to, to separate selection. <coughs> and what you'll see is that we have a new uh, um, object here called base.001 and we'll, we'll just control left tab to call that stand okay um, let's do uh, uh, one thing let's make sure it's selected and tab into edit mode and we'll just a scale have we still got the pivot point as the 3d cursor we have so let's set the pivot point to the median point <laughs> and just scale that in to about something like there okay and now if we just bring back our Guide cube and Z. We're still in edit mode, yes we are. So let's just guess at the height. So we'll just E Z somewhere about <coughs> actually maybe we should just pick an exact distance. Let's try 0 0.85. No. Okay, so that's not gonna work. So we'll just escape that. G Z G Z somewhere about there, maybe one up. Let's try there. We can always adjust this later on. Okay, now let's just for now let's just hide our guide cube again. This cube currently looks terrible, but that's fine. Let's scale it in just a bit. Okay, and then we won't actually put a uh, a, a face on the top of the bottom because it's never going to be seen. What I do like to do is just grab the bottom, all right click, and just grab it on the Z, just just nudge it underneath, so there's no issues with some weird. Um, Z fighting, I think they call it, where you might just get some weird uh, speckles around the area. If we just do A and then Control N, that'll sort out the normals and which way they're facing. We want them all facing out, and that looks much better. And finally, let's go to our trusty friend, Faces Smooth, and we'll just pop over to the object data. Auto Smooth is already on. Okay, that stand looks boring. By the way, if you're wondering why we're not creating any normal maps, we will do. We're going to be using an application called Substance Painter later on. We'll actually be doing the normals on the fly using something called PBR, which you'll see um, is very, very cool, very, very easy to use. And uh, I don't know that you can't do it in, in Blender, indeed you can, but uh, I find that the uh, the um, PBR tool at like Substance Painter is so much better. So, but, but for now, let's at least try and make this a little bit more interesting. And the way I did this originally was just to create kind of a bevel in the middle. So let's just go in and we'll just create four lines. One, two, three, four. And right click now what you, if you do this if you click those two and just do scale on the Z I think it 
pulls it distorts the shape yes it does so the way I do this and I guess it's not very te technical is just do GG to do edge slide and just pull it maybe about there and then do the same GG no one's looking are they and then finally control tab 3 select this one here and just scale that out okay so something like that now you'll see that when you look at it it looks absolutely terrible and that's because the, everything's smoothed out so just control tab edge select select that one that one that one and that one and go over here to under the shading UVs and do edges shop and you can see that that looks rather rather cool um, you know we'll, like I say we'll, we'll, we'll make this look a whole lot cooler a bit later on um, we, we could call this stand 01 couldn't we because what I was going to suggest was as well if you were if you were um, thinking well actually that's great but um, this object's got um, Oh gosh, it's not many. It's not many. It's 96 verse. <laughs> it's not going to break the bank. This, um, but you're thinking, oh, that's too many. Then you could potentially you could create a square. So let's just do that as well, just for fun, uh, as this is a quick, pretty short tutorial. Uh, we'll tab back out, Shift A at Mesh Cube. And I'll just quickly um, Z. It's a good start, isn't it? Because what we can do is we'll just. Um, will do <laughs> is we'll hide that hide it and we'll just we'll just pop this around and we'll just uh, tab into edit mode control tab 1 a b and what I'll do is I'll actually snap to vertex G Z until it selects there and then I'm going to scale shift Z and, uh, no a Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'll unselect that and I'll do A scale shift Z until it's about the same size at the top, and then control tab three one. Um, I can't quite see, but the, uh, so let's just scale that in again. So it's about the same size. Okay, we've got something that looks a little bit duller. Again, I'll, I'll let me remove those faces from the top and the bottom. X faces. I just quickly call this Stando 2. Oh, uh, Stando. Stando 2. Let's do a quick save. Okay, um, I'll just hide Stando 1. Hide that. Uh, we can bring back the uh, base. Um, click on here, tab in, and we can just control tab edge. If we just select these before we're at it, before we do that, let's just quickly do control A, rotation of scale. Select these and control. Uh, it's too big, isn't it? It's too big. You can see it's gone over the thing. So let's just quickly sort that out. I will do scale shift Z the whole thing till it comes on the inside, like so. Okay, and then we'll go back here and select these edges and do control B and just pick something that you like the look of. Okay bit more boring but that is 16 verts so you know if, t if times are hard do that um, if times aren't if times aren't hard hang on go for stando one I think the stando one looks a bit better and like I say we'll, we'll tie this up and make it look greater on but to be honest with you we can also make this one look um, uh, brilliant as well so we're stando two yeah we'll make this one look a lot better as well so let's we'll play with both of those uh, later on in terms of getting them textured and looking cool. For now, let's unwrap them. So we'll start with Stand01. Uh, if we just tab in here, let's just drag this across. Now this is unquestionably going to unwrap a whole lot easier the more seams we add. If I just go Control-1 to go to the back, and just add a seam. I'll quickly tab into Edit Mode. I don't think I need to scale it. No, you can see that's fine. So you could tweak these, couldn't you? You could make that 0 0.45, whatever. Um, I'm not going to do today. Now if I just click A and then you unwrap that, it unwraps pretty well. But you can see that there's a lot of wasted space here. If I added another one at the front, now you see it's not made a huge amount of difference, has it? The other thing we could do is we could... Um, we could add a seam on this section here, mark seam, and uh, mark 
If I do that, yes, I probably did. Yeah, just by unselecting sharp on the mesh display, you can see it. And now if I just unwrap that, uh, now we're talking a bit better. And now potentially by adding one at the front. Control E, mark seam. Yeah, we're getting to the same size now. Now I'm going to struggle with this because, of course, the more seams you add, the more problems you've got. Um, I'm going to, for now, remove those seams and just go with the basic unwrap of the like, like so. Okay. Um, in fact, if anything, I'm going to scale down just a touch so it's not touching the borders quite so much. Just grab on the Y. Okay, um, not hugely happy with that. It's an awful lot of wasted space. Potentially, we could use another <coughs> unwrap maybe for that. I don't know, uh, but for now, I'm going to go with that. Okay, so let's just save that. Let's just call that stand round, shall we? Stand cylinder. Okay, and then and then stand O2. We'll call that stand. You can't call it Q, can you? Stand block. <laughs> okay, and then tap. Um, and this should be a lot easier to unwrap. In fact, we've probably only got to pick one slot. It's just a case of which one, really. We could pick two. Just pick one, kind of the alternative corners. Control E, mark seam. Just tab out. Just check the dimensions, the scale. Where's the scale? You see, I don't need to. I'm going to do it anyway because I'm mad. Um, and then tab in a U unwrap. And if I just do L. R180. Let's grab that over there. You see, there's a bit of room for maneuver. Not much, though, is it? And there we go. We've got our two stands. Like I say, I know they look very dull at the moment, but I promise you, um, we will make them look a whole lot better uh, when we come to texture these. I think you'll be very, very impressed with with how they look. Uh, I won't give you a sneak preview just yet. I'll just get your appetite wet. But for now, let's just go with those stands. Thank you very much. In the third part, we'll start to, in, in, in part 1C, we will create the machine gun turret, uh, unwrap it, and, uh, and then we'll move on to the uh, laser gun and missile launcher turret. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.